Hello and welcome back to another designing communication tutorial. Today we will learn about locus. But before getting into details, let's observe this picture. We can see a metal pipe leaning against a wall. There is also a white dot on the metal pipe. Let's see the animation. Now we will focus on the white dot on the metal. Suppose I tell you to observe the path taken by the white dot. How will it look like? Let's watch the animation once again, but now I will lay emphasis on the white dot. In fact, let's make it red so that you can see it better. Can you see the set of points? Well, this set of points is called the locus of the white dot. But how to draw that? Let me give you some dimensions. You will have to make a line diagram as shown. Pause the video and take the dimensions. Now let me show you how to find the locus of the white dot. Let's draw the wall. Draw a vertical line of 110 millimeters and label it as AB. Now let's draw the ground. Use your set square and draw a horizontal line at B. We don't have a measurement for it, so just draw a long line. We will call the end of the line as E. This part is a bit tricky. We must draw the metal tube AC. Since the length of the metal tube is 125 millimeters, we will need to open our compass to this dimension. Place your compass at A and bisect the line BE. You will get C. After that, find the location of X using your compass or ruler. X is 45 millimeters from A. Since we need different positions of the metal tube, we will divide the line AB into eight equal parts. You can divide the line into more or less depending on you. Open your compass at 125 millimeters and place it on the first division. Bisect the line BE so that you get the second position for the metal tube. Find the position of X also. You can label it as A dash or C dash if you want. Do the same thing for the remaining divisions. You will obtain a line diagram like this. Now that we have all the set of points, also known as the locus of point X, we can draw a curve. So again, the locus of point X is the path of point X. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for part two.